We are getting ready for a private party, a wine tasting, and you is going to talk about wine, and we have a selection that he's going to present. And right on our deck, by a beautiful day, by the ocean. And here is you. Good afternoon. Welcome to our tasting here on August the 9th at Souk Harbor House. And we have 19 private guests coming to join us today. They're going to walk through a wonderful, exciting selection of British Columbia wines, including wines from Vancouver Island and the Okanagan. A display bottle just to show some of the great things we've done in the past here in British Columbia. Kettle Valley Merlot from 1999. We aren't actually pouring this one, but we are pouring spectacular bottles like this one. Poplar Grove 2001 Reserve from the Naramata Bench. Excellent acidic racy whites. A wonderful sparkling to start with from Salt Spring Island. And to finish off, ice wine and Vandage Tardif, or Late Harvest Wines. Uh, a perfect opportunity for our guests from England to experience what Canada has been doing for the last 25 years. So tell us just what selection, you can just tell us what other wines you're going to. Very good. To do. We're going to start off with Karma. It's a sparkling wine from Dev and Joe McIntyre from Salt Spring Island. Here's the label. Yeah, it's a very nice. Beautiful, oh, elegant, uh, truly a food-friendly product. We're going to move into some Wild Goose Gewürztraminer from 2001. Spectacular again. Uh, that spice, that uh, that aromatics that uh, Gewürztraminer is particularly well known for. S Vancouver Island Starling Lane Ortega, a very recent vintage, 2009. Uh, Award-winning Tantalus. Let's reach deeply into here. Old Vines Riesling. And again, uh, beautiful, um, I think, for our guests from uh, overseas yes. to see West Coast art. This particular piece is created by Dempsey Bob, and you can go to www.dempseybob.com oh, to see wonderful. more of his work. Other whites. We're going to, of course, how could we not do... Burrowing Owl Pinot Gris, mm. very fresh, 2010 recent release, um, spectacular. And anyone who's looking at Burrowing Owl should also y look at Young and Wise. We're not doing Young and Wise today, but uh, we should in the future because I love its espresso notes in the reds. In terms of reds, let's, or should we stay? Yes, we'll go with reds now. <laughs> let's go. Uh, Joie. Joie, uh, Pastoud Grain, or PTG, 2008. Marvelous uh, tension of uh, uh, Gamay, uh, Côte de Rhone, and Beaujolais styled uh, wines put together. It's, it's so food friendly. This is, this is joyous, and as the label well, suggests. Well, as the label says. Yes. It's happiness in a bottle. Yes. Uh, down below, we have uh, Blue Grouse. Uh, spectacular Hans Kiltz and his son Richard have produced these uh, wines at Blue Grouse, one of the most picturesque wineries I can think of here on Vancouver yes, Island. Yes, it's a beautiful winery. They should be, we should be very proud of what they do. Kettle Valley, as I've indicated for the big bottle, produces some spectacular wines. They're Old Main Red. In this case, we're doing the Cabernet Merlot, uh, 2007. Uh, Kettle Valley, uh, these people were started in their own living room and their own apartment producing homemade wines and had such passion that they went searching for a property, uh, found one in the Naramata Bench, named it after the famous Kettle Valley Railway and to feature uh, locomotives yes. uh, on all their wines. <laughs> Naturally, and uh, our own Sinclair uh, has uh, named this uh, the Marshall. The reason we should be exploring Marshall once again, incredibly, the depth of this, the 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 uh, perfect fit with uh, venison and bison, and any of the darker food uh, meats that we serve here, and any meat reduction, Starling Lane is is ideal. Just so perfect. When we had a, um, the other day venison neck reduction, uh, I made a point of serving this. Fantastic. Uh, Jerry Musio uh, comes to deliver it to us, and uh, every time he does, I just think what joy people are going to get out of this particular winery. Here, just on uh, west, off West Saanich Road, 
um, yeah, just north of Victoria. Very close to us. Very close. And we'll just walk through the last uh, of the uh, the tasting, which today is going to go to uh, this. Now, not an ice wine, a late harvest, a mix of Viognier, Semillon, Muscat, Sauvignon Blanc, and Chardonnay, ah. all uh, from a vineyard that names itself a slow vineyard. Pantage has been searching for uh, the right tension between sweet and tart. And this is, I can't think of a, a harmonious, a more harmonious experience than Pantage. Wonderful. Our second to last wine is one that I particularly have a connection with, Konzelman Estate Winery. I worked with Herbert Konzelman and for Bruno, uh, Rees, and uh, uh, in Niagara-on-the-Lake. It is, I just felt we had to put an Ontario product in here because ice wine really developed uh, its its own um, strength in uh, Niagara with Donald Zeraldo yes. and Carl Kaiser, who I worked for years ago. But uh, Councilman Herbert, we, we, there is a gentleman who, who everyone should really stand up. Every time they raise a glass, they should say cheers to him. <laughs> We're going to end, and that's a 1997, and this is one bottle that I particularly, I actually brought that to Sinclair uh, some some four or five years ago. Oh. And we're going to end our tasting today with the Dark Horse uh, State Vineyard. Speaking of uh, Inniskillen, uh, Inniskillen was, um, did start in Niagara-on-the-Lake on Concession 3 many, many years ago in the late 1970s. This is their BC uh, arm. It is a full Riesling ice wine, as opposed to the one before, which was a Vidal ice wine. This is La Crème de la Crème. La Crème de la Crème. And all of this is going to be enjoyed on our deck by the ocean. We may see. This afternoon we had, again, 45 to 50 whales all jumping around. And this group is going to have, after all that wine tasting, going to have a nice dinner in our garden room. They are. So thank you, Hugh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Have a santé.